Well, good morning, Calvary. It is Christmas Eve, and we hope that you'll join us tonight for one of our Christmas Eve services. We'll have four services at our Sweetwater campus. We'll have one at our McCulloch campus. We'll have one in Parker. We've got Christmas Eve services for you. If you need more information, check out the post on our Facebook page or go to our website, calvarylhc.com. Get the information there. We'd love to have you here. But as we near Christmas, we want to share our word for the day with you. And yesterday, Pastor Joe shared about the death of Jesus and what that means for us. And today I want to share the next section of Mark chapter 15. And it may not feel like a Christmas story, but I think you're going to see the connection here and what this can help us understand and see as we approach Christmas. So Mark chapter 15 says this, and starting in verse 42. And when evening had come, since it was the day of preparation, that is the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself looking for the kingdom of God, took courage and went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate was surprised to hear that he should have already died, and summoning the centurion, he asked him if Jesus was already dead. And when he had learned from the centurion that he was in fact dead, he granted the corpse to Joseph. And Joseph brought a linen shroud, and taking him down, wrapped him in the linen shroud, and laid him in a tomb that had been cut out of the rock. And he rolled the stone against the entrance of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of, of Joseph, saw where he was laid. Now the mood here with Jesus' friends and family was not one of celebration. They were not merry with the events that were happening. It was much more somber. It was a, a moment of grief, of shock, of confusion, of dismay of what had happened. Yet as we look to celebrate Christmas with gifts and celebrating his birth today and tomorrow, this point, passage points us to the reality of Jesus' gift. And we see that in a few ways. First, if we look at just the human side of this, Joseph of Arimathea came and offered his new private tomb for Jesus to be buried in. He didn't know at the time that Jesus would only need it for a few nights, but he came and offered this uh, to the family and to the friends of Jesus. Now on that day, a new private tomb was very rare and very expensive. They were normally shared burial grounds, but Joseph of Arimathea had, uh, you know, had this built and prepared likely for himself or his family members. And scholars suggest that this gift to Jesus and his family probably would have been valued somewhere around $150,000 to $200,000 of just the cost of, of excavating and creating this tomb. This was no small gift from Joseph of Arimathea. On top of this was the cost of the roughly 75 pounds of spices and burial treatments that were prepared and ready to be put on Jesus in the coming days. But the second, way that we see the gift here is the repeated reminder of Jesus giving his life as a gift for us. Each and every one of us can experience grace, redemption, forgiveness, and so much more through the death and resurrection of Jesus. The gifts we give tonight and tomorrow aren't just about Jesus' birth, but the purpose with which he was born, and that is to give his life as a ransom for many people. So today as you celebrate I pray that you celebrate with purpose, knowing that the gift that Jesus offers each and every one of us is what we celebrate. Knowing that we celebrate his birth as he's wrapped in cloths and laid in that manger, but also we celebrate that because he came to eventually be wrapped in cloths and laid in a tomb after giving his life as a sacrifice for our sins. This gives us an incredible reason to celebrate, an incredible reason to celebrate, to have joy, and to, to point to the coming Savior this Christmas. Merry Christmas, Calvary. We hope to see you at one of our services. Hope you have a great and merry Christmas. We'll see you next time.